So uh, yeah, I, 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 I get the last five minutes. I was talking to Deborah Leonard, and and I, I told her I wasn't going to use slides, and she said it was important that I set the right precedent. <laughs> so yeah, there's my slide. Um, so I, I, I think it would be hard for me to sort of make slides on the fly. So the things that I have heard are that we need to have uh, better rapid learning systems to capture not just phenotypes but outcomes. Uh, and we should learn from each encounter, and we should learn from each, each time clinical decision support fires. We should develop systems to figure out what happens next. I think one of the things that we've heard is that CSER has developed and refined guidelines in populations. And there is a tension that at least I feel, and I think some people feel, between uh, guidelines in populations and management of individual patients and families. How to engage families is something that uh, I don't think anybody uh, within the NHGRI genomic medicine portfolio is dealing with much except for CSER and perhaps the newborn program. Uh, the legal and regulatory frameworks are something that uh, is still on the table for CSER and will continue to be on the, on, on the, on the, on the, uh, on the agenda. So, so those are the things that I think I heard in this session. I'd be, I'm open to, to correction or change in emphasis, but otherwise, we'll move on. Okay, great. Great, thank you very much. I think we are ready for the break, and thank you to the first session for keeping us on time and um, calling on folks, and thank you all. Um, let's, let's come back at 11 promptly at 11 o'clock for the start of the next session, please.